Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Toothpicks. Hey, I got some spare ribs I'm gonna put on today on this Weber Summit Charcoal Grill over here. These are full spare ribs. I'm not gonna do anything special. I'm not gonna wrap them. I'm gonna barely trim them, and I'm gonna put some good rub on them that I made at home. Nobody special, no other people. I made some rub today, and we're gonna put a glaze on by Cosmos. I'll be showing you that in a minute. So if you stay tuned, we'll put these on, and I'll show you how I do to prep them. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so, so I got right here, I got some spare ribs. These are a full rack, guys. And the reason I say it's a full rack, hey, breastbone is still on here a little bit. Not on this one too much. Well, yeah, right here at the top, it's on here. So if you take a look at that on the back, I've already pulled the membrane off of it. And I didn't do a lot of trimming. I'm going to keep some of this fat on here. But a lot of loose ends I probably did cut on here. But we're going to keep these whole today. So nothing special to it, guys. So what I'm going to do I got three racks of these I'm gonna be putting on today. So I'm gonna take out uh, here and take some mustard. You can use some olive oil, you can use whatever you want, but I'm just gonna put some Creole mustard by Zatarans. I like this stuff a lot, guys. I like to be a little different. Take that right there, take this hand right here. I'm gonna rub around, and I'm not trying to, you know, soak it up in the mustard. I'm just trying to put it on a little bit over on across this. Put a little more just to get it on the edges right here. Try to keep my other hand clean. I'm at home, so if I was out in maybe public area or something, cooking for other people, you know, um, that I didn't know, I'll be using some gloves on this, touching this raw meat. But I'm at home today, because I'm gonna keep my hands washed, so you make sure you do that before you touch anything else. But that's why I'm keeping a clean hand. So after you do that, guys, I got some homemade rub in the shaker, and I'm gonna hit it. You know, you don't wanna put too much. Ribs are pretty thin on the meat, but I wanna put an even coat. You can really put as much as you want, guys. Right there, put it on the back. I like seasoning. A lot of you know that if you watch my videos. Get it all on these edges. You wanna do that. Edges, turn that over. Get it on the edges. Like I said, turn it over. Give you an even coat. I bought this little shaker on Amazon. I'll give you a link to it. Sprinkle this all over. Even coat. And there it is. So I'm going to take the time. I'm going to go ahead and do up the other ones real quick. And we'll kind of speed up the time and let you go through it. And I'm going to go and put this back in my bin. And I'll get the other one out. All right, guys, I'm going to tell you how I set this up. I got my charcoals in here. This is my Weber Summit Charcoal Grill. I got it for um, indirect cooking. It doesn't look like it right now. I'm going to show you how I do that. I put some cold coals in there and some hot coals. I made a chimney of hot coals. You see, they're grayed out. And I got the cold coals on the bottom, and I put some on the top. And what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to add a couple pieces of wood. This is some apple wood I got right here. See that? Apple wood. Just some chunks. I'm just going to put about three chunks in there for right now. And what I'm going to do, Weber has this neat thing. I'm going to show you what it is. It's a little baffle. Put that right in there. Okay. And that right there makes it an indirect cooker right there. And what I'll do, I'm going to come around and I'm going to get this water pan. Got a little water pan. I'm going to set on top of it right here in the middle, small enough. That way I can still raise up the sides of these little flaps right here. 
I got some flaps over here. Let me show you. You can raise up just like that, raise them down. And then what I'll do next, guys, is put my grating on. Let's go ahead and put the grating on right there. And I already brought this up to temp. I kind of cleaned them. Not real shiny. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, how I'm going to get three racks of ribs on here. So let's go ahead and put on the first one. What I'm going to do, put my widest ones on first. Go ahead, get these set up right here. One on that side. Get my other one set up. Put it right there. Give me a paper towel, get in the way of the camera. Put those just right there, guys. The other one, I got a neat little rack from Weber. I'm gonna throw that right here on top, right there. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna allow me to put my third rack on. Might be a little short, but it'll work right there. Put my third rack on right there. Go ahead and set up. I got my um, ThermoWorks smoke today. I'll go ahead and set that up, get that put on over there. So let me go ahead and grab it right there. Got my son videotaping for me today. So we're gonna go ahead and get this set up here on the side. Got my little nifty bag right here. So you can see they told me to go down so I can see it right there so I got it right there and we're gonna get this set up come over here and I'll adjust the camera for you guys that way you can see actually what's going on right there all right so I hope that's better right there you can easily see what's going on right there it's going to get this set up. And really, on this, I'm just going to be monitoring the temp on the um on the smoker guys i'm not going to really be uh monitoring the internal till later because i'm really going to go by look i don't need to put any probes inside the meat whatsoever so i'll probably put this on this top grate in the back that's what i'll do so i'm just going to use one actually put this little thing through here and i'm gonna set this on the back right there should monitor my heat you know heat rises and i'm gonna put this in the top one right here and right now this reading 71 right there 71.9 okay set my alarms and what i'll do i'll set my alarms on here on the top so my high alarm uh that's for internal but uh over here and I'll set these up as I go, and I'll do that off camera, but I'll get that set up right there and go ahead and monitor that. And what I'll be monitoring for today is this receiver right here, so I'm going to get that turned on. Got my smoke receiver. This is my Thermoworks smoke. Go ahead and lay that down. As you see, it's magnetized, so I can put this actually, guys, I can put this actually on the side right here, but I'm going to put this on over here. And I'm going to close this. And we're going to set our temps and everything and bring this up to 250. And there you go. Let it smoke. I'm going to let this smoke an hour and I'll come back and then I'll hit it with some apple juice mixed with apple cider vinegar as we go. Stay tuned.
about an hour. So let's go ahead and look at the color on these ribs. Go ahead and give it a spray. Like I said, I got some apple juice, some apple cider vinegar. Let's give this a little couple pumps. Found this little pump on Amazon. Give it a couple pumps. All I gotta do is just hit it. If I want to, I can put that little switch and let go. Get all around there. And there it is. Get under there. Right there. It's done. Close these up. Let's just go ahead and see what the internal temperature is real quick. Just want, I'm just curious, throwing on my um, thermal pop, getting between these ribs. 160, 165. And guys, what I'm really looking for, I'm gonna bring these up to like 190, 195. 159, 165. This one is 150, that's 167, okay. All right, looking pretty good. It's going where I wanna go. Go ahead and give these a close. Like I said, I'm not gonna wrap them. Just gonna keep watching them. I want a little more extra bark on them today. All right guys, so it's been about two hours. We're gonna go ahead and um, lift these up and I'm gonna get, get some um, rotating on, spray them a little bit. I'm trying to let these go for four hours, uh, around 250. So let's just see how it goes. Let's see how they look. There you go, looking pretty good. As you can see, some of the bones, the meat's starting to pull back on the bones over here. I don't know if you can see that side. Not so much up here so far, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this top rack off. I'm gonna set it over on my cutting board and I'm gonna rotate these bottom ones because with this uh, right here, it tends to get real hot right here on the outside. So I'm just gonna turn these ribs on the bottom this way so I can just switch them the other, other way if you can get what I'm saying. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna grab my high heat gloves real quick. Take my little probe off. Let's go ahead and take this probe off. Set it right here on the side. Go ahead and take this top rack off. Set it right here safely, over here on the side. Oh, little brush fell, so go wash that. And I'm gonna put my, um, I got some silicone gloves I'm gonna use to pick these up, guys. Um, I, I usually use the black gloves with a cotton glove also, like a lot of barbecue guys do, but I'm gonna use these today. They have time to go get no other black gloves put these on what I'm gonna do be careful with these see that's starting to pull back real good not a lot of, some flex in it so I'm just gonna lay that I'm just gonna turn those over right here because I don't want that bottom to burn too good let's just see what they look like not burning real bad not even burning I like a little bark but we're not gonna burn these go ahead and turn this one up I don't want to mess up the top rub Turn those right there. All right, go ahead and get my other gloves back on. Get those cleaned up. I'm gonna set this rack right back. But before I do that, I'll just go ahead and take the temperature. Let's just look at what they're looking at. They should be getting real close, guys. One seventy one, one seventy four, one seventy eight. They're coming up. Take it over here. That's 171. 172. Okay. Coming up. Give it another hour. Hour and a half maybe. Let's go ahead and set this other one back over here. Get that going. Right there back on the top. All right. So, let's go ahead and take the temp of the other one at the top, see how it's cooking out. 163, 165, a little bit lower than the other ones. Let's take it over here. 161. So, it's just taking a little longer to cook. And the reason that's being probably is because this meat right here is, is at the bottom. It's kind of going around and kind of going up. 
at the top right there but they're looking real good so what i'm going to do i still should have some pressure left in this pump yep still got some pressure and i'm going to hit these with a spray again keep those ribs moist right there this is why i don't really have to wrap these ribs because i'm keeping them real moist hit that bottom hit it over there and this this thing gets over there do another give it another pump let's get right back here on the back on the bottom right there looking real good like i like it a little meat stuck to the grill over here take that off put that to the side eat that a little bone right here and all right and we're gonna go ahead and get this thermometer back on shouldn't be hot at all should have cooled down i'm gonna get this right back on top right there and there it goes and close it now bring it back up to temp Raise up my, my little, right there, a little chimney at the top, and I'll get her back up to temp real fast. All right, so while we're waiting on that, I'm gonna go over here in a minute, and I'm gonna sh let's go ahead and put some baked beans on. I'll show you how I do this, just real quick. We'll show you how to do that. All right, guys. So real quick, you know, you want to make a side real quick. And what I'm doing, I made some potato salad in the house. I got a link to a video that I made for that in the house, but I'm gonna do some quick baked beans real quick. And this, I'm gonna do this on my uh, performer over here. It's real easy to do. So what I got over here, I got me some um, bell pepper and onion. I got me a serrano pepper that's been pickled. Uh, I've been picking that for a little while. So what I'm gonna do, go ahead and throw that up in there. Okay. Let that sizzle. I'm gonna get that, you know, I'm just gonna um, cook these in here it's wilted and what i did throw in the pan guys i had a little bacon grease that i had from earlier that i had um saved that i made from breakfast and so some bacon grease it's not too much but just enough to coat it and that's what i'm using in this cast iron right here the wood i'm using um the charcoal i'm using today guys i got this um cherry wood kingsford that i um recently bought let me get out the bag and show y'all and let that cook a little bit and this is what I've been using on both of my cooks today. Got this uh, cherry wood right here. I think this is a limited edition. So I wanted to try it out. And I mixed that with a little apple. And the reason being, uh, crazy thought, just because I got some of this um, cherry apple habanero rib glaze I'm going to throw on those ribs today. So I thought it'd be a good combo. So when I do that, guys, got this uh, bell peppers and onions in here. Take some of this barbecue rub. Sprinkle in there. Get that going on. Get that mixed up. All in there real good. I just want to, like I said, I just want to wilt it a little bit because I'm going to let this cook for a while. Come over here. I'm going to take some of this, this Serrano. Cut the uh, tip off. Cut this in half right there. Lead of seeds, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get this chopped up. And these are pickled. I like all my peppers pickled, you really. Go ahead and put that on my knife. Get every little bit. Throw that in there too. Get that going. I don't wanna waste nothing. I got a little more pepper, a little more bell peppers in there. Put that in there. And another thing I got while that's cooking, I made some bacon crumbs right there. I used that for my potato salad, but I got a little leftover. So I'm going to put that in my um, beans when I get ready to throw them in there. Let's get this all cooked up real good. And that heat's starting to come up real good under there. I've got this sitting right here under this charcoal, um, over the charcoal, not under it. Let that come up. I'm getting real wilted. Pretty good. That's looking pretty good. I want that pepper to cook in there pretty good. Also, so we're gonna let that go 
until it gets wilted like I like it. All right, so these peppers and onions have been cooking real good, guys. So what I'm gonna do now, real easy, got some of these uh, Bush's baked beans. You can um, cook beans for a long time at overnight if you want or during the early in the day. But I said this is a fast, a fast recipe. So what I got is some maple cured bacon. It's already got bacon in it, but I'm gonna add more bacon. So there's nothing wrong with adding more bacon, of course. So I'm just gonna, and what I did before I do this, I poured the juice off both of these cans. I got two cans about this size right here. And the reason I'm doing that, cause I'm gonna add a little more juice that I wanna add in it, but I don't like real soupy bean. I want the smoke to get in there, like a thick bean. I'm gonna get that in there right there. Hear that sizzle? Get that off to the side. Go ahead and get this other one going. I'm gonna get this thermometer off of me real quick. While oh, that's going. I'm gonna get this other bean. Pour that over there. Pan's good and hot now. Perfect. Just for this size pot, um, pan. I love using cast iron. A lot of people don't use them, but I like using them. What I'm gonna do, I took some of this Creole mustard. I'm just gonna take that and put a little bit in there. A little bit of Creole mustard. Just a little bit, like I said. Nice spice. Throw some of this bacon up in there. And what I'm gonna do, instead of adding brown sugar, guys, I'm gonna add some of this molasses right here. Add a little molasses, give it a little sweetness. Let's pour that up in there. Go around just like that. But this already got maple in it and um, a little sweetness. I don't want them too sweet. Throw a little of the barbecue rub right there on the top for some extra seasoning. Get that all on the top right there. And last but not least, got my beer. I got this Celis White. Over here, made in Austin. Got my little Jason Witten koozie on it. I'm going to pour a little bit of that beer in there. Not too much because I'm going to drink the rest. And once you got that all in there, guys, get out a good old mixing right there. It's boiling a little bit, as you can see on the side. I want to get all them onions and stuff in there. I want to get all that mixed up, all them peppers mixed up. All the seasonings, mustard, molasses, get it all mixed up real good. Bacon, of course, like I said. All right, so it looks that's looking pretty good. Get that, get some of these other peppers over here. All right, so what I'm gonna do while that's cooking, like that, take this, not too hot now move it off the fire and what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of apple wood take my knife throw it right there on top of those coals put a little smoke to this and this should take about maybe an hour probably when it comes off it'll be done when the ribs are done and there we go gonna put your top back on close down my ventilator bring it up to like maybe 300 350 maybe 325 350 just until you know i feel like they're done and we'll check them on it after a while they should be done next time i pull them off all right guys so i think these ribs are about done i'm gonna let them go about 15 other minutes just look at these man oh man those look good let's go ahead and grab my thermopop if you didn't have a thermopop or a thermo pen Another way you can check these is look at the bones as they coming away. Got some bones coming away right here. Also, they bend up pretty easy when you flop. If, you, if I took them and picked them up and they bend up or they easy to pull away. So let's, let's just see like this one. It's about to come apart. There it is. One bone coming apart. Well, 
So I got one bone off. I think my dog's on like this. There you go, Nightmare. Go ahead and check this temperature over here. Let's just look at it. If it goes through easy, you know it's done. It's 180, 181. Over here, these should be real done. 193. 185, 186. Guys, I think that's about all much as I can do it. Let's just take a moment and look at that. Those look real good. I'm gonna use my arm. Um, we're gonna go ahead and glaze these guys and let the glaze sit up. I'm gonna leave one dry. That way, because my wife, she likes dry rub ribs. I'm not gonna glaze that one up. So I'm gonna take this thermo smoke off. Take one of these off. Got my little Cosmos rib glaze right there. That is cherry apple habanero. Let's go ahead and take this top one off. I think that's the one I'll leave dry. Set this over here on the side. I'm gonna take, just gonna pick one of these up so I can bring it close to you so you can see. Look at how that, that's flexing like that. I think those are about done. Look at that, look at all that juice right there. Go ahead and uh, let's get them glazed up. You can either take your glaze and pour all over it. I'm gonna step in front of y'all real quick. But I got this little brush right here. I got this little cast iron pot. I'm just gonna dip that on there and dabble. Just, you know, dip that all on there. Spread it out. It's gonna look good. Rub sticking on there, pretty good. And these look good. Get that all over there. And it should spread out because it's hot. I'm gonna leave these on about 15 minutes. Maybe let them sit up and caramelize up. Get that all over that. That's looking good. There you go. I'm gonna do the next one. Get that with some, get that all over that. Looking real good. I think I'm gonna need a little more. All right, so looking good, guys. Spread that all over there. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this rib glaze. I'm gonna go down the line, just like that. Bam, good stuff. Get that all over those bones. It's got a good flavor, not too hot. Just tasted that a little bit. All right, we're gonna let that sit up, guys. I told you, one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave dry for some dry rub. So what I'll do with that, take my gloves, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on here. I got those glazed up. Leave those about 15 minutes. And the other ones, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shake some dust on top of them. It's okay if it falls to the bottom, right there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let those go a little more. All right, let them sit up in the glaze and come back when they're done. Let me just move this close real quick so I can show y'all what's going on. And that doesn't that look good? Get that, there you go. Doesn't that look good, guys? Looks real good. All right. 
All right, so let's get her closed up and we'll come check on it. And it should be done. We, time I come back, I'm gonna cut her up. Let's see what those beans are looking like. Man, those, that's done right there, guys. That's the color I'm looking for. Real nice. That's gonna go good with those ribs. Get that back on there. Close that down. All right, guys, so these ribs are off. I've been letting this one sit. I mean, doesn't that look beautiful? Look at this. Oh man, look at the color on that. Doesn't that look nice? Real nice right there. So I'm just gonna get this sliced up right here. Like I said, I put some of this Cosmos rib glaze cherry habanero. I'm gonna get that out the way. I'm gonna cut down the middle, guys, just to see. These bones are kind of running this way a little bit. So just start right here. I mean, that cuts right through. Ooh, that looks good. Set that over there. Now look at that right there. Smoke ring going all through that. That's why I like these big ribs. Make sure you cut this. Perfect. Look at this rib, guys. Looks real good. I'm gonna bring it close. Looking real nice. Look at that glaze. Smoke ring. Get all that meat right there. See, let's take a look and see how it's gonna taste. June, let's show them what it looks like. All right, that should bite off. That is a clean bite. Bite from the other side. Can y'all see that? Clean bite. These ain't overcooked. These are just right. So guys, gotta wipe my mouth. You know what? That's perfect. Put some beer. Mm -mm. Perfect, guys. I think I'm gonna really eat a little more of that. Mm. Oh my gosh. Look at Nightmare's face. You want some of that? I give you the bones. All right, so let's go over what we did. We used full slab of ribs, no trimming, nothing. Glazed them. I got one dry sitting right here. Those are done. Those are looking good. All right, I'm gonna take those off. But these are good. Came up to about 193 degrees in that range. 195 on some of them. That's good. That's that's tender. So if you like this video and you want to subscribe, you want to comment, make sure you do it below. I'll leave some links to some of the items I had, some of the rub. Well, not the rubs, so I made that myself. But I leave some ingredient list for the rub. I'll leave the link for the glaze, um, some of the equipment I've used. And make sure you tell your friends about this. If you liked it, like I said, go ahead and make a comment. Positive and negative, but just keep everything positive if you can and stay tuned till next time toothpicks what's up guys welcome to another edition of toothpicks hey i got some... god damn hey guys welcome to another edition of toothpicks hey i got something special today Nothing new, but today I got... Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Toothpicks. Hey, I got something I want to show you today. I'm going to put on some... God!